Welcome to this yin yoga sequence to boost your immune system and stimulate the lymphatic system. We will begin in dangling a forward fold standing. So please step both feet up to the mat, hip width distance apart or wider. Bend your knees deeply and let yourself, your upper body, hang over your legs. Feel free to deeply bend into the knees so your upper body and chest rests on your thighs. And you can hold on to opposite elbows or let the, your hands drop down on the floor, chin to chest. And the weight of your feet is evenly distributed. This pose helps the tissue of your lymphatic system to transition from the hips and your lower back towards the head and the neck. This is very beneficial for your overall health. And always remember if this gets too intense for you or too much, you can always come back to child's pose and rest. Listen to your body Listen to your in intuition. And release this pose, drop your hips back down to the mat. Next we will come into melting heart, so please hips over knees, shoulders over your wrists. And if you have sensitive knees, feel free to pad your knees with a folded blanket like I'm doing in the video. Making our way into melting heart, walking the hands to the top of the mat as you melt your heart, your upper body and your head down towards the ground. You can rest your head right on the mat or if that's a little bit too intense, use a block underneath the forehead. Always remember to find your edge, we're not seeking the deepest stretch in yin yoga. On a scale of 1 to 10, we want to stay at about a 5.
Let gravity do the work. Soften your neck and upper back. Slowly walk the hands back towards you using arm strength to lift back up. If you had the blanket, remove it and put it off to the sides, we won't need it anymore. And then come to lay down on your back for supported bridge. Please have a block or a bolster nearby. Knees bent and feet flat on the ground. Press into your heels to lift your hips up and then slide your support, either a block or a bolster or a meditation cushion like me, directly underneath your hips. Relax your arms by your sides or you could always reach them up overhead to also get into the lymph nodes underneath your arms. Take a few moments to settle here and find a comfortable position. For the second part of this pose, you can either stay as you are here, 
Or you can try to straighten your legs and let them dangle in the air. So it's like legs up the wall without a wall. If you happen to be close to a wall, you could always take the legs up the wall. If you're doing it without the wall, you will notice right away if straightening your legs up is too much. When you feel your lower back starting to pinch. So please keep your knees bent if this variation doesn't feel comfortable in your body. This is a wonderful pose to boost your immune system. It helps starting the process of getting the lymph moving in the right direction from your feet towards your torso. And this pose also increases the circulation and is very calming for the nervous system. Slowly release the pose, rebend your knees, feet flat to the ground, and then lift your hips up to remove your support underneath the hips and set your hips back down. Pull your knees in towards your chest and give yourself a big squeeze. Maybe rock from side to side. Coming into a lying spinal twist, straighten your left leg, right knee stays pulled into your chest and then let it cross over the body to the left side, maybe using your left hand to guide it and reach the right arm out into a cactus shape at 90 degrees bent in the elbow. Both shoulders stay evenly grounded on the mat.
See if you can really release and let the ground fully support you in this pose and shape. No struggling, no straining, no effort, just rest. And release, roll back onto your back, switching sides, so right leg extends, draw your left knee in and then cross it over to the right side, left arm goes out to the right side and your chest is facing up towards the ceiling. So the twist is happening in your mid to low back down.
and we'll come to Shavasana straight away. Just lengthen your left leg down like a pendulum, both legs straight. Arms rest by your sides. And just relax here. Notice how you feel differently after the sequence. For two full minutes. Slowly deep begin to deepen your breath, wiggling your fingers and toes. Pull one knee into the chest and then the other. And then roll over to your right side using your forearm as a pillow to press back up. Please come to a comfortable seated position. Thank yourself for taking this time to get onto your mat and do some yin yoga with me. Bring your hearts together in front of the chest. May you carry light and love out into the rest of your day. Namaste. Thank you for practicing with me. If you enjoyed this class, please let me know in the comments down below and please remember to subscribe to my channel if you're new. Like this video and share it with, with a friend. Practice again with you soon. Namaste.